Welcome back to my channel. Today we're checking out some Xenoverse 2. A new raid just dropped, and it's one I recommend most people to check out. And it's going from the 4th until the 11th, so you got a couple days of uh, leeway in trying to get it done. And this is just a really good raid, and it's one we haven't had for in over a year now, I believe. It's been quite a long time since we've got it. I personally already have most of the rewards, but I know this is one that most people are often looking for. Because we can get the Sab Winter Jackets, and as you can see, we can also get the Rage Broly Wig and the Super Saiyan Keflo Wig. And these are cap out at 50k uh, damage you just have to get. The 100k damage is just the 50 TP medals and the Avenger nickname. Like, uh, usually... It's not like the last uh, raid we had where the 100,000 actually had good rewards alongside it. But at 5k damage, you'll get the nickname Fierce, and you'll get the Super Saiyan Keflo Egg. At 15k damage, you'll get 50 TP medals, uh, Goku's Sab Coat, and the uh, Broly Wig, like the Rage Wig. You'll also get artwork uh, 161. And then for 30k damage, you'll get 50 TP medals, the nickname Berserk, uh, the Super Soul. My spirits are overflowing. I think it's a Broly one. The name is probably wrong. The translation's uh, usually messed up. But at 30k, you also get the Vegeta Sap Coat. And you'll also get a Super Soul called I'll Give You Blood Festival First. Also probably messed up uh, translation. And then for 50k damage, you'll get the nickname Fierce Weapon. And then you'll get the Broly Clothes, uh, Upper, Lower, and Hands. And then for 100k damage, you'll just get 50 TP medals and the nickname Avenger. Which is just the generic uh, 100k reward. But that's the main rewards, and then uh, if you still need uh, keys or artwork or anything from the raid, you can get it while you're grinding through. But uh, I've got those quite a while ago, just from the amount of raids I've just done in general. And I kind of probably wasted a bunch of time back in the day grinding it, and then I ended up having to do so many raids where I just don't get as many rewards anymore. But... Uh, Pro tip for the raids, because I, you'll notice in the background here that I kind of getting screwed over, because we have a guy using Broly's breath attack. I think it's a gigantic roar, which, yeah, right there, that uh, green beam. It's one that makes it so you can't uh, attack the enemy for a little while, so it messes up with everyone's output of damage, and then. Someone also poisoned him, which, just in general on raids, isn't useful. But it's even worse on this one because this Broly has uh, the like attack that he did earlier, where it like spawns attacks on everyone, and then he does this, and it just wastes so much time that you can be getting damage off. So it definitely wasn't a very efficient match this time. The pro strat is just get a homing attack of some sort and just spam it pretty much like a lot of the people that are trying to do poison and uh, do like the broly beam and stuff like that like a lot of them never are at the top of the leaderboard so especially if you're using that uh, broly one you should be lowering yourself to low health so it does more damage because there's just better attacks in general use if you're not doing that its damage won't be like crazy high my strat for the longest time now is just break guard and spam uh, a quick firing key attack that uh, homes but uh, if your melee build death meteor like the one that throws a bunch of rocks is a really good homing melee ultimate and DX bomber is a pretty good one for outputting a bunch of damage pretty quick if the enemy's stuck like this, I'll usually use that over bending Kamehameha. Because bending Kamehameha kind of like leaves you stuck there for a little bit after you throw it. So, 
Might as well use DX Bomber with the little charge up it does have. And it uh, balances itself out, and I think it gets you more damage total. Feels like it, anyways. But that's only if they're close by and not getting flung around or something. But yeah, this boy raid generally won't be too hard. He does have a lot of uh, the annoying attacks. Because if I remember right, I think he brainwashes me in this fight too, near the end. And I kind of lose out on a bit of damage. It's just the way she goes though. But it's not like the uh, one Gogeta one where he has just super armor and just destroys you. Yeah, so he has uh, like basically all the boss moves. So he can be a bit annoying, and technically that buying control move can just wipe an entire squad if you get very unlucky by uh, just people not being very attentive. I get hit by it all the time when I'm just trying to spam attacks. But, uh, yes, yeah, it's definitely a good raid to do, and I'm happy. I'm hoping they bring back the Tapion clothes soon, because that's the one thing I've been waiting for forever. There's also, like, the Tien and Yamcha fusion wig that they haven't had in so long. There's just a lot of, like, little things that they don't do anymore that, uh, I hope they either bring back or they start adding, like, new items to the raids. Because it's kind of getting a bit annoying, uh, recycling just the same stuff on repeat. But that'll pretty much be it for this video. I'll probably have, uh... One Piece Pirate Warriors video next week because the DLC will be dropping here in a couple days. And I'll be grinding that out and I'll have some videos of that. And probably some Xenoverse here and there. And uh, we'll just see where we go. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!